Good morning, everyone. Here we are in El Cote, New Mexico. And um, before we get into the motors issue, we have another issue, and that is mosquitoes. Compared to where, where we're from, uh, San Jose, California, this place has a lot of mosquitoes near the river. And uh, if you have good ideas of preventing mosquito bites, let us know. This 1.5 ton landscape buddy excavator was delivered to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Ron picked it up no problem at all. All the excavator looked very sharp, very clean. All the things are in there just as he ordered it. But series of issues led to this inoperable um, travel motor, and now the excavator is sitting. So we want to get this thing fixed. Okay, hey, so this is the travel motor. It seems that there is just two connections of the hydraulic fluid and then uh, four bolts that um, bolts onto the body. Uh, it seems like I can just release those and this motor will come out. Let's take a closer look of this valve. So this travel motor has a balanced valve on top and what it does is that it actually um, stabilizes the tractor when you're working on a slope. So you don't feel your tractor is um, constantly feeling like it's gonna run off. And so most of the wonton excavator uses the similar motor, uh, a little smaller, but definitely does not have this apparatus on top. Uh, this, I think, is built with the motor itself. I don't know if you can buy this separately to add it onto your excavator. Uh, if you don't, if you know, you can feel free to leave it on the comments so other users can know. But actually, this is for me is a very important safety feature. Uh, in my all my landscape jobs, you can see um, I'm working on hills and creating hills, and uh, I don't want to have my excavator run out, down, uh, run down the hill uh, without any controls. You know, while I'm on there, it just it's just uh, plain dangerous. So all the one ton or 1.5 ton landscape buddy excavator comes with this setup. It's just a safety feature, um, you know, to, to, give a, to give you more stability when you're working on the hill. Okay, so let me take out this motor and uh, see what we are dealing with. Okay, so guys, so uh, I took out this motor here, travel motor here, and uh, just really four bolts, and it's really tight. Uh, got some thread locks on there, so it uh, took me some effort. Uh, 1316 with the uh, socket that I took it. Probably took a 21 with. millimeter, don't you? Yeah, 20, it could be 21. I mean, it's, uh, sure it's gotta be that. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a little, Misfit, but uh -huh. it, it, I, I was well, on a very tight gentle. nut, man. I hate using the wrong size. Yeah, we don't want to strip those, you know, threads. And uh, so this, so this is uh, this is Ron. Uh, I'm <laughs> this, the buyer. <laughs> this is this is from our host here at the New Mexico estate here, and uh, he's the owner of this machine. And I thought everything was good, you know, paying, buying, shipping. Every, everything was all very nice, and even picking up. Un unpacking was happy. <laughs> yeah, unpacking was happy. Solid looking. Yeah, uh, you picked up without any issues, right? You yeah, just it was easy. drove your trailers there and uh -huh. rolled it up. Uh -huh. back. It was yeah, well you, packed. Yeah, you, know, you even see me pictures and, uh, unloading and with you know everything in there. And you took out to the field and uh, tell me. It, tell, it, tell it, it worked good for about an hour, and then it began to, uh, well, it, it wouldn't move after an hour. But yeah. the next morning I went out and it fired up again, and I used it for another hour. But a uh, series of discoveries really came uh, after about the second hour of use. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, I was very surprised by, by all these findings as well, because I have helped, oh, I would say probably eight people so far uh, find this. And that's why it was such a surprise to me. <laughs> How come you're running into issues? And then, you know, and, and, and discovering like, that even UPS lost the uh, motor. <laughs> that was even unheard of. It's just... One after the other. Huh? Yeah, so it was really strange. But anyway. Um... Well, I would say glad to have purchased this uh, through and with Jason. Uh, I have experience a little bit of importing from China before. And because my Mandarin is not uh, existent, uh, it was nice to have communication that uh, between me and China, Jason. Uh, without Jason, I, I, I wouldn't have known what to do. Yeah, and you uh, wouldn't probably go. Well, I would have had to rebuild it on my own. In another way, I would have been, you know, really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, so the help uh, with an agent in the U.S. has been uh, yeah. key. I'm glad that I was able to help. And but overall, for me, I, I really want to see a working machine, right? And and this is just really bothering also. Anyway, so- I I'm on that page also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, can, we took this out and we're waiting for a, a new um, a replacement to arrive and later I'll probably yeah, come in and put it in. 
And for this one, I think it's just for experimental purpose. You can open it up with the uh, the, the cover here, and maybe disassemble, and see what you see really, what a hydraulic motor is about. Yeah, what what really is the problem? And if it's cheap and easy to rebuild, fine. If it's not, then I don't know, <laughs> scrap metal <laughs> or something. Paperweight, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Doorstop. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's like fifty pound heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's about there, 50 pounds. So anyway, so this will be, yeah, we'll just have to wait for it. And uh, at least it's out and we can do some uh, investigation. For, and for, and for this it. will be the solution and we'll be working. So I posted this travel motor issue on the Facebook group uh, called Chinese Excavator Owner. So any one of you um, who thinking of getting one or is or have one uh, should join this group because uh, we as the owner of these uh, generic um, excavators, uh, can help each other out anyway so there are some uh technical comments on there and uh just you know i'm just asking what people have experienced and what can uh, people help and there are a few technical guys on there and saying that they have uh, rebuilt or repaired these motors and by judging the play on it uh there's internal damage and well i don't know i think it is but we'll just find out once we open it up so just to thank all the uh users who commented uh even though we don't really have a solution for it but yeah thanks for your comment here we took out six hex bolts that holds the uh, front plate together and as we took that out we can examine what happened to the motor in the front plate yeah, it's just got the inner seal and then the outer seal. Yeah, the but slack is still there, but boy, it's... This is broken. As you can tell, it's been... Yeah, it's broken off. Yeah, something's chewed up So that black, so it's uh, been... that black uh, hydraulic oh. fluid, maybe it's this? Is that, and that was this, this, there's no... Oh, it's part of the metal, though. It has been weighing yeah, on the metal. Yeah, there's nothing holding hmm. this shaft from doing that. So maybe it's a missing piece? Ooh. So I think it, I think it may have machined... Or... At this point, I have to hit a pause and explain a few things. Um, after more dialogue to the uh, factory, realizing that this was a... Um, a very bad quality control issue uh so in reality all these fact factories they buy different parts from different uh, suppliers uh different manufacturing um business and if you get something like this and it just causes a lot of trouble for everybody uh for, especially for the end user so what happened is on the motor itself the drive shaft has a uh, uh, race bearing uh it's cone shaped it's pressed in and press the uh, drive shaft in. So if the race is not pressed deep enough, it causes the drive shaft to move forward and back like this. And what happened is, as it moves, it will wear out that face uh, cover plate. And that's what exactly what happened here. So if you have the right tool, a machine shop, you know, a neighbor who knows how to do this and got the tools, it's actually a five minute fix. Um, but anyway, I don't know, we don't know how many these motors are out there or maybe that workbench, particular bench was uh, on the wrong setting or the guy just, you know, hurried to get off work or something, but this happened. This little mistake caused a lot of issue for everybody and, and just caused a lot of money in terms, okay? Well, I think over the course of 40 it minutes, it just machined itself away because I think that's what that cup is there. Yeah. What would have been in there? Uh, I mean and the next thing we are doing is we actually took out the uh, back housing, uh, motor housing, and we want to uh, put the, all the internal parts in reverse so that they will go in as, we, as, it, as it should. And also at the same time, we want to exam to see if there are any uh, broken or uh, severe damage uh, on the internal parts. And surprisingly to find out, nothing was really a problem inside this motor. Um, everything's very smooth, nothing was wear and tear. And guess what, the wobbling little, of the hey, drive cool. shaft uh, is uh, as it's designed. Uh, is that a, and there's where that goes. And that's another wobble shaft. And, oh, it has to be. It has to be because uh, that goes like around the and then eccentric. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, that makes sense. So for the Facebook group, uh, any one of those comments saying that the motor is fine, probably just a simple fix, uh, you are partially correct uh, because the motor is not uh, really damaged. We only find that out after we open it up. So uh, here's your verdict and answer. So what we're really doing right now is just waiting for the uh, 
front cover plate to show up and put it back on the excavator so the excavator can go back to work and doing what it should do, digging and working, get the farm cleaned up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.